Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And looking at the rest of the conference, you know, we're pretty close to the end of the season. And uh, I think we're in within striking distance. The last four games, Oklahoma is ahead of us in our division. But if we can upset Oklahoma, I mean, that would be epic. But we do have to win the next couple of games before getting to them. We go against Kansas and Houston. Than them so i mean we got kind of a slate of games that we have to go through still still pretty tough games i mean kansas they had a uh, strong start to the schedule so did houston houston's four and four but i don't think they're too bad of a team i mean if you look at them they're one and four in conference but i mean they got smoked by texas but the other two games i mean they they were close i mean they weren't bad but you never know i mean these air raid offenses i mean they're very tough so I'm still going to have to work against them. But Oklahoma, I mean, it doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon. But look at this, how they end the season. Kansas State, who we just beat. Then us, then Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State just dropped that last game to West Virginia. So West Virginia is not going to be a slouch either. They're 2-2 two and two in conference, and they're in our division. So we're going to see because they, they end their season with kind of an easier schedule. I mean, they got Kansas State, but then they got TCU and Kansas, who are kind of struggling, not bad but kind of struggling right now. I mean, we don't have any, like, horrible, horrible teams, but I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. So this week we are going up against Kansas. First, let's just look at recruiting really quick. Let's just look at our recruiting board and see how we're doing with the new prospects we had added a couple weeks ago. So it looks like this is week 11, so we have a lot of prospects visiting this week, especially Caden Joseph, our top quarterback. Uh, he's coming this week, and he's a pretty much – locked to come to our school unless something happens this week uh patrick williams we actually moved up to first place with these guys but still a lot to go i mean if you look at that i mean we're still in the red so i mean not even close to being locked 20 percent only dan harris were first with him 21 percent locked he seems like a very very good prospect 77 overall needs to get his zone coverage on matt wesley we're in the lead for him all these guys were in the lead for kenneth carpenter <clears throat> but the next guy Raphael Wheeler and we're still in the running for him so what's surprising is that he does have his visit this week and he's already had actually he did not have his visit for Washington yet so that's in a couple weeks three weeks so if we get a bunch of points we could possibly steal him away I don't know if he'll commit this coming week but we don't know I mean we're behind a thousand I mean that's a big big difference but I don't know. We can maybe have a big week. We can get some of these uh, additional points we can get during this visit. Maybe surprise him a little bit. So uh, going up into this game versus Kansas, I mean, Kansas is ranked not too good on offense. I mean, look at their pass offense, 123. They don't even get 100 passing yards per game. But look at their rush offense. They're number two in the nation. So they're going to run the hell out of the ball. And they're, they actually force a little bit of turnovers. They're, they force at least two more turnovers than they have uh, given up this year. So and their defense is okay. I mean, but I mean, their pass offense is if we can stop the pass, stop the run, I mean, honestly, they're going to have to force them to throw the ball. I mean, that's going to be pretty good because we'll be in line to at least meet some of these recruiting goals. I'm looking to kind of put my foot on the gas this game just so I can get the most points for these recruits that I can get. Make sure I hit all the goals I can. So let's hop into this game. We got Kansas at home. We got three straight games at home coming up. So let's hop into it. Let's go. So Bradbury is going to look to build off of that great game he had last game. And here he is right away taking a big sack from Big 98 Simmons on the Kansas offensive line, or defensive line. And here Bradbury Bruh. is missing a wide open Kevin Oliver, so that's going to force a uh, punt on the first possession of the Marquette uh, drive there. And here Bruh. is Herbert. We knew this rushing attack would be a problem for us in this game because all they can do is run the ball, but we knew if we could take it away, we might be in the driver's seat, but Khalil Herbert takes this long handoff into the end zone for the touchdown and we're down 7-0 early in this game at home we are ranked number 14 now and Bradbury's gonna miss a wide open Kevin Oliver in the slot and this time he's gonna miss Jamel Cooley open down the sideline that time so two missed opportunities early on on this second drive so here facing a third and ten 
He's finally going to get on track, finding Kevin Oliver on the slant route, getting uh, a nice 14-yard gain that time. So here on a second and four, Alex Brown getting the handoff that time. Nice juke move, getting past the 50 50 yard line and here's Alex Brown once again getting a handoff and we know once you know Bradbury started off last game pretty hot and I thought that I could eventually run the ball I mean eventually pass the ball a little more than I usually do because of the start that he was off to but I had to get Alex Brown going early on in this game in order to get Bradbury going so we end up settling for the field goal and that's gonna be a 7-3 game and look at Kansas I mean they are coming out passing the ball and we didn't expect this at all I mean they're running a lot of triple option they're running a lot of handoffs up the middle and Herbert gets another open lane and this time he's gonna go untouched 50 yards for the touchdown and Khalil Herbert is just killing us early on in this game and that's a 14-3 lead for the Kansas Jayhawks and here they are back out on offense with this Marquette offense and man I just gotta get some momentum going with Barry because Barry you know he started out kind of shaky and it kind of hurt us that's why we're kind of in this hole but here he is finding Kevin Oliver for the nice 17 yard reception so here is Barry giving the ball off to Alex Brown this time finding an open lane getting a nice seven yard carry up to about the 35 yard line and here he is on a second and three Alex Brown getting another carry this time he uses his speed maneuvers his way up for another seven yard gain so on a second and ten they're setting a blitz this time Barry's gonna run out of the pocket but throw across the middle and Jamel Cooley remember what I said the, at the end of last game I said he had a good game but it was because not because he was getting a lot of catches but because he was a great decoy it seemed like the the middle of the field was opening up and look what happens they send an all-out blitz and he gets open this time but now we got to stop Kansas for the in this game I mean they are just killing us on the ground and this time through the air and this time on a play action he's gonna throw the ball deep and look at that Bruh. he is wide open Charlotte is wide open for the catch and I mean, Stanley is three for three with a touchdown to this point. We did not expect them to throw this ball, but look at John Waters on this play. He absolutely bites Bruh. on the run, gets burnt on the pass, and this is gonna be a surprise of a game early in this game. We did not expect this to be a great game. We thought we were gonna be able to do what we wanted on this Kansas team, but they are coming out firing with the 21 to 10 lead. But Bradbury, I mean, he's got the short accuracy, just doesn't have the deep accuracy. So getting Herman Rogers involved in this game has really helped up to this point. So Alex Brown getting the nice 12 yard rush on that one. So here facing a first and 10, Alex Brown gets the counter this time, gets a block from the pulling guard. And Alex Brown gets in for the touchdown run on that one. And if Alex Brown has anything to do with this game, I mean, he's not gonna let us go away quietly. So here we are down four once again by Stanley this time running the ball instead of throwing and I mean they are just throwing all kinds of fakes all kinds of fake handoffs triple option whatever they can run and here's Herbert breaking a couple of tackles getting inside the 20 yard line so man this Kansas offense is a handful at this point great game plan installed by this uh, offensive coordinator and here is big Todd Williams getting the strip and Lewis Parker falls on it and Todd Williams continues to just impress I mean the last half of the season remember last game he had two sacks this time he catches the quarterback from behind strips the ball out look at that hand on the ball and everything and we take over here to start the second quarter inside about the 30 yard line and Alex Brown getting the handoff this time getting up close to the 45 yard line so now facing a second and nine close to the 50 yard line this time Alex Brown's gonna get the handoff this time he's gonna get tackled by the safety that time so now facing a third and four Barry's gonna fake the uh handoff to Alex Brown and Rubright filling in for the injured Ben Miller's gonna get a nice uh catch and run on that one running over a couple of guys and he's a 6'8 guy remember that he can run over some defenders and he's definitely a 
I got to figure out how to use him in his offense because using Ben Miller, I'd used a lot of his speed at the tight end position, but Rubron isn't as fast, but he's big. So I got to find a way to use that size. So now facing a fourth and one, attempting to go for it, but this time the impact middle linebacker is going to sniff that one out and we're going to have to turn the ball over. But on the next drive, Tabor is going to get this. Ooh, I mean, that was so close to being picked off by Vince Cohen. Nice throw that time by Stanley, getting it there on time. But here they are. I'm telling you, they're running this triple option. They're running all these reverses. They're running everything they can at us, and they're doing a pretty good job at running the ball and disguising their offense. So here, getting it to Herbert and Stanley on the screen pass, and Herbert breaks a couple of tackles that time and gets up inside the 20-yard line. So now facing a third and three, Herbert's going to get the handoff to the outside, but this one's going to be stopped this time by Paul Miller. Nice tackle by the transfer safety on that one and they got to settle for the field goal so now it is a seven point lead 40 seconds left in this half Barry he's got enough time and we got two timeouts so here he is rolling out right he's gonna get tackled from behind that time by the corner number 13 so here we are 30 seconds left in this half third and three Barry's gonna there's gonna they're gonna send a blitz of Barry gets it off Rubright gets the catch that time and now he gets up to the 40 yard line so now Almost 20 seconds left in this half. This time he's going to find Kevin Oliver. Nice throw that time by Brad Berry. I'm telling you, these short to inter intermediate throws, he's pretty accurate on. So here he is finding Herman Rogers. Way to keep his feet in bounds on that one. So now seven seconds left. Berry's going to find Rogers inside the 10 yard line but only four seconds left i don't want to risk it no timeouts so i do kick the field goal and go into half happily down by four points because this kansas offense is a handful and they start out the second half with the ball handing it to herbert and man what a game he's having i mean he's got 200 yards after this carry man i mean already 200 yards he is just destroying us at this point and herbert once again getting another carry and i mean i can't even stop him at this point i mean look at this play call they're running triple option they're running handoffs running read option running play action rpos whatever they want to run so facing a third and nine though this time stanley's gonna get swallowed up this time by the all-american lewis parker and we do force a punt luckily and a rare stop by our defense this game but we know we got alex brown on our side down four points we gotta get him the ball so now facing a third and ten three minutes left look at that blitz I mean, nobody is there to pick up the blitzer, and Mike Lee gets in for the sack that time on Bradbury. So now we give the ball right back after a great defensive stop. We have to punt it away to them, but we have Dylan Mack on our side getting a tackle for loss that time. So facing a third and six, uh, the Kansas offense is going to come back out. Only two receivers running out for a pattern that time, but... I mean, luckily, Stanley does find the receiver, and that's going to be a first down. So here is Herbert once again getting the ball. I mean, can we stop this guy at all? We are throwing all we can at this guy. But here is Riley spelling Herbert, and he gets a nice 12-yard gain. So, I mean, these Kansas running backs are just killing us. I mean, absolutely just killing us up to this point. Gotcha, but bitch. facing another third and six, what these timely sacks that we're getting in this game this time, Ron Sands gets them out of field goal range, so we force them to punt back to us, and here is Jamel Cooley getting a nice 10-yard reception, and he's starting to get going in this game as well as Herman Rogers. He's getting in, in the slot when receivers get tired, and he's actually been on the field quite a bit the last couple games, and I actually forgot how good Herman Rogers is and how dangerous of a weapon he can be in the slot because remember our first season, we had Herman Rodgers on the outside, and I don't think that really fit him too well, but he's thriving at that fourth receiver spot, that slot receiver guy. He can really do some damage there as well as Kevin Oliver. I mean, those two are just a one-two punch in the slot, but here we're getting inside about the 25-yard line, giving the ball to Jimmy Ward, and Jimmy Ward's going to get another carry this time, an open lane. Kevin Oliver missed the block on that one. That possibly could have been a touchdown. But now facing a first and goal. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Alex Brown's going to put on a move on the two defenders that time. Get in for the touchdown. And he's at 128 yards rushing in this game. And what a game he's been having. 
for us the last couple of games because we've been needing to depend on him. Him and Brad Berry have definitely stepped up in Ashton Cohen's absence. So here's Kansas back out on offense. And Paul Miller misses a sure pick six on that one. And we give this Kansas team life on that missed opportunity. But on a third down, Stanley's going to roll out get short of the first down so facing a fourth down this time a read option stanley's gonna keep it and he's gonna get a nice gain that time 22 yards get inside the 40 yard line so now a minute and 20 seconds left in this game and look at stanley he's gonna find his receiver that time for the nice 15 yard gain so now facing another first and 10 gonna give it to herbert and look at that blocking on that one Herbert is just a killer this game. I mean, we just cannot stop him. So now we do get the ball back a minute left in this game. And this time finding Christopher Rubright for the 17-yard reception. And it's a minute left. We have three timeouts left. So we still got a lot of time. We can call some timeouts. So here we are getting the ball to Jamel Cooley. Bradbury, nice throw on the run that time. And here he is on a second and in inches, giving the ball to Alex Brown. And we have to keep them honest. We have to mix it up. We do have three timeouts, but we do have to score a touchdown on this drive. So facing a first and 10, rolling out right. Nice throw on the run by, by Bradbury, getting the ball to Kevin Oliver. So now facing another first and 10, 40 seconds left in this game. Jamel Cooley, nice route that time. Now we're inside the 20 yard line. So now we're cooking first and 10. Bradbury's going to roll out right. This time he's going to find a running lane. Ooh, and he takes a huge hit. Good thing he did not fumble that. I meant to throw it to the wide receiver, but I ended up jumping instead. And he holds onto the ball, luckily. So now facing a second and nine, getting the ball to Jamel Cooley. So now we're inside the five-yard line, 17 seconds left. And Alex Brown's going to get the handoff, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. And Marquette is going to take the three-point lead. What a game this has been. Kansas has shown that they can hang with us. But here they are. They have 17 seconds left. On the first play, Josh Dunbar knocks down the slant route that time. So now facing a second and 10, 11 seconds left. The clock is running. They throw the same exact play, but this time it's going to be caught by Harrell. So now seven seconds left in this game. Stanley's going to have a clean pocket, gotcha, but this bitch. time he's going to get swallowed up. And that's going to be big Todd Williams on the sack that time. Todd Williams showing up these last couple games. So now three seconds left. One last heave to the end zone. Stanley's going to throw the ball deep. This time it's going to be caught, actually, by Charlotte. But the time is going to run out. And, man, another epic game for this Marquette team. We hang on by a thread. I mean, this is a surprise game. I mean, we were on upset alert for sure. I mean, man, Kansas came to play, especially Herbert. He runs for 263 yards. I mean, he had a monster game. I mean, look at this. Alex Brown had half the yards he had, and he still had a monster game. I mean, that tells you how great of a game Herbert had and Jamel Cooley. Finally gets his 100-yard game. Remember, he started out the season with that 100-yard game, that big one. And then now he finally gets another one. Bradbury's finally forming some chemistry with him. And on the defensive side, Vince Cohen, 16 total tackles. But, I mean, I mean the MVP of the second half of this season has definitely been Todd Williams. I mean, how disruptive he's been stopping the run, stopping the pass. I mean, obviously, we didn't do too much in the run this game. But he got in for two sacks, another two sacks added to his resume, his freshman campaign. I mean, what a great season he's been having. He's a big guy, 6'8". 247 so hit subscribe hit that like button i mean that that game was definitely tough we got a houston team coming up next who's probably gonna be the opposite of kansas they're gonna air the ball out throw the ball not run the ball as much but we'll see but stay tuned next episode is gonna be pretty good so you don't want to miss that one so let's go